Whew, whipsawing emotions in that courtroom this morning. First, the jury hears that somebody, presumably Neil Entwistle, but that hasn't been proven conclusively, somebody's on Entwistle's laptop using his username and password an hour and a half after he says he found the bodies, checking his adult friendfinder.com emails looking for sex partners. Then on cross-examination, we learn of the photo that serves as the desktop for that laptop, an absolutely gorgeous picture of baby Lillian looking like a little Gerber baby model. I mean, she could not be more gorgeous. And that's the baby who was brutally shot in the chest and murdered. Uh, Robin Bond, does it help Neil Entwistle that he had a picture of baby Lillian on his computer? Well, you know, I don't think so. Again, it just makes me really, really sad when I see it. And, you know, and as a person who deals with a lot of workplace issues, I have a lot of sympathy for people who are out of work. And I appreciate hmm. how when you're out of work, you know, you can get very desperate. And, and I think one of the things the defense counsel here is trying to do is say, you know, this is a guy who was out of work and he was trying desperately to to get a job. And maybe that's where he's going to go with this. And he's going to say, you know, the guy, if he did this, if, you know, his client is found guilty, he's going to say, you know, when people are out of work, they're terribly stressed and they do crazy things. They're, uh, they're, anger or their depression either goes inward or it goes outward and they do crazy things like road rage uh, rage against co-workers or spousal abuse child abuse or even in crazy instances murder an explanation but certainly not a justification <laughs> right. and it's not going to help him legally right. right Robin right absolutely right but it's something that the defense is maybe trying to go to because what is the defense going to do here I just wonder what this witness is going right. to say next we'll get back to him in just a minute time now to take our first look at today's 13th jury